It's time. It's time. Oh, baby, you see that? You see that box? Oh, this time it's the right one. First name, Alex. Go. Cool. Thanks, man. All right. All right. <laughs> Just gonna grab mine. When was the last time you sharpened your shit? It's serrated. You don't sharpen it. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> This is compact. You gotta send it back. I know, I'm not again. <laughs> so what's your what's your story with these coilovers, sir? So we ordered them probably about four months ago or so. They uh ended they, up shipping. They, they uh, are you uh Hey guy, you helped me order them, so we, I was uh... I was in the room. <laughs> I was in the room. You're the one who filled it all out, alright? So don't put this on me. This is a we my This guy. is a this is a this is a you uh, with me laughing. <laughs> After. So someone ordered the... You ordered <laughs> compact coilovers, yes. not M3 coilovers. Don't fit on my car, so uh, I had to send them back and wait even longer for them to come back. They're finally here, and they're finally going on my rust bucket. So order coilovers, two month wait, get TI coilovers instead of M3 coilovers, wait a week sending them back, Wait two months to get the right ones, and here we are. It's a good day. Still not registered. That's on the DMV, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today is the day we're gonna be putting Alex's coilovers on. Finally, it's been like seven months since he ordered them. It took forever to get here. I am a happy man. And this guy is very excited because we're gonna turn his bunk stance into the standard hot boy stance for this channel. <laughs> For the next 30 minutes, BC Racing Custom Compact <laughs> E36 coilovers. <laughs> they're the exact same coils I'm running on this thing, except that they're compact for the front. But they're M3s for the rear. Yeah. So the day after this video gets posted, we're going to be posting a DIY for coilover install and setup. So it'll be a good time. Brakes. I got coilovers. You need brakes more than you need suspension, dog. What you got, Chief? This is my wiring. What the? For your math? Yeah, look. Jesus. So. What are you doing, Chief? I, dude, I bought the car like this. What are you doing, Steven? Why are you selling cars like this? <laughs> oh, it is soldered. That one's soldered. Yeah, that's pretty slow. Pretty slow. Now compress this. <laughs> yeah, a little bit harder. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Jesus. So these are that's the extreme lows, huh? Yeah. I don't think I've seen the extreme lows. How do these feel? How does it does it feel the same as ours? Yeah, it's all the same. The damping inside the valving is all the same. Just it's just I think it's literally this piece right here is shorter 
It looks a lot shorter. Just that, like the yeah. shock body and all that stuff is the same. They're for the special ones, right? Yeah, those are the Swift yeah. Springs, the brand Swift. Oh, okay. So the, the BCs come with Swift Springs? No, they do if you order them no, with Swift the, Springs. The custom ones. That's custom it. ones. Well, if you order, you can order Extreme Lows without Swift Springs. Yeah, oh, okay. It's like two options. Two options. So how much more was that? I think this whole kit was 400 bucks more. It was almost like 1500 so... Do you have yeah. Swift Springs on your sedan? Yes. Yeah. Oh, These okay. are the so same the coilovers same I have on my sedan. Except for, you know, these say, compact. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's... <laughs> Can you reach in there and grab the plug and pull up on the plug? On the speaker? Yeah. You can just, like, lightly pull up on the wires. Yeah. Perfect. Ta-da! Bada boom. Proper. Here you go, baby. Uh, you go, schmuckums. Bottom or the top? On the bottom. Yes. Slow it, slow it. A little more. Stop. There's plenty of space to do this. Right. Alright, hot dog, brother. Oh, and now we get to put the Johnny's back on and hope it doesn't rub. Anchovies. I said anything except for anchovies. Ooh, baby. Is this good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Here we go. You ready, Alex? Yeah, I'm ready, bro. I've been waiting since you were 12 to see your E36 get standing. Pretty much, dude. Ooh! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, oh. dude, look at that pre runner status. That Ooh, shit is bro. sick, dude. Bro. Oh, I like that. Bro. You like the sensors now, Danny? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you like I don't like the front ones, though. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I only like the rears. Oh, baby. That is. Look at that wheel gap comparison. Oh, you ain't rubbing, dog. You're not rubbing at all. Oh, um, there you go. Oh. oh, dude. Don't go any heavy fucking turns. Bro, that shit looks so good, dog. Oh, yeah, oh my god. Oh. To... Oh. Yeah, dude. yeah. Looks good, dude. I'm so Welcome to the right squad, now. Alex. I'm so hyped right now, dude. You gotta do the fronts now, right? Yeah. All right. Three out of four done. We just gotta hit this side. My only redeeming quality according to one of these And then we will be good on this. Oh, I didn't put that on. Coilovers! <laughs> that was meant, dude. Because it was like super saturated, so it was just super white and then it just faded into your face. Looking like that. Back to the spindle height, dude. Every time it's ridiculous. Way the F down there. Yeah, right? It's like really, really hot, really, really cold weather. <laughs> Going into the ocean? Sick. Yeah, got that shrunk in. So, now Alex, now Alex has to do his side. And then we'll drop it down and start doing height adjustments. Just be careful. Oh, Just keep yeah. moving the jack forward so that doesn't slip off. Yeah. There's only one person that follows me. You, get, you gotta get that in. Oh, you're actually pretty close. Yeah. Hot dog. Oh, your washer's right there. I probably should have guided this in too, huh? It's loose, so it should be able to just like kind of pop in. You should be able to push the end of the sway bar up a little bit to get it to. I won't 
I need to get um, This is like pushing into so the sway bar, you see what I mean? Oh, yeah. You pull back on the rotor, you see how it's gonna kinda yeah. get like that? Uh -huh. So if you look down there again, you might, there's a little dowel pin that needs to line up on the strut. Underneath? Yeah, so if you lay back down underneath. So between the two bolt holes, you have like a little dowel and that needs to line up on the coils. I mean, does it need to be forced in? Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll pop in when you get it in the right position. There you go. So grab your nuts, your bolts right there. Start getting them in. I'm probably gonna include this section of the DIY because I didn't really get a very good shot of me putting these nuts on, these bolts in. What size I'm tires not, are these? 225s? Yeah. And it's funny because those, those are 225s, but they're 17s. Yeah, but you're on a seven and a half inch wheel. And these are eight these are eight inch. And your contours, the rear ones are eight and a half. But those are two. No, these are nines. Are these nines? No, so that's why. Yeah. 18 by nine? Oh, that's right. They are 18 by nine. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that's why they stretch on like oh, a. Oh, dude, it, the pavement in the front is going to be gnarly. It's going to look so good. I'm hyped. I. I foresee that you're going to have to run it as high as Quinn. We'll see. We'll see. We got time to dial in the right height. I'm not too worried about it. I like my little rake setup. I know a lot of people don't. I know you don't. Uh, I don't mind it anymore, but I didn't like it at first. No, it's a, it's a functional setup, so yeah. I mean, it's like... Which is why I'm more okay with it. Yeah. If you were going for just the look only and not stuff up... Not well, if I was going for the look, I'd drop it a lot more in the front. You know, but this way I can drive I like, like I can I like, drive that car as hard as I, I want. Do it like doesn't how rub. It is and I, it's also because the rears are a little higher. Yeah, and you you got smaller front wheels. Yeah. You know. Getting your garage. Oh, yeah. Probably wish that shit. No, no, no. Uh, I would say get it from this side only. Hmm? I guess you can. Here, I'll record and you don't watch because yeah, you're on, you're, you're not gonna get you're not gonna it's gonna it's gonna disappoint you at first and then you're gonna be up. It literally didn't move. Eh, it did a little bit. It moved about a half an inch. Move on me again, dog. I'm <laughs> Dude, it looks gnarly. Yeah. That looks <laughs> It looks really gnarly. That's savage. It's gonna rub for sure. Try a slob squat in front of it. You can do it at the behind the wheel. Yeah, you do that. Nah, that is Western Spy Squat. You do the slop squat. You put the heels on the... There you go. I think Alex should lay flat. Back it up and get in straighter. Oh yeah, he's rubbing. He's rubbing. That looks mint though. Huh? That looks mint though. Yeah. I can hear that shit the phone. Yeah. Dude, I think I think we raise it a bit. We roll the fenders. Uh, I was gonna pull my car where I usually park and then pull my mom's car in. And then you can pull in. Okay. You wanna just pull straight into the garage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no care. But well, we gotta take a picture like I that. I think though. I think we raise your front a yeah. little bit, roll your fenders, and you'll be mad, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's just it really, looks, really it looks, freaking low. It looks so super like, good driving the way it is right now. Oh, I'm sure. So we got Alex's stance dialed in. We got the ride height 
in the front set proper so it doesn't rub anymore. I think we raised it 0.75 inches, almost a full inch. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So we haven't done anything as far as adjusting the damping yet because we don't drive that car because the registration hasn't gone through because the DMV is taking forever on it. So we haven't done that yet. But aside from that, everything else is dialed in. This car is ready to be daily driven, but we're just waiting on reg from the DMV, which is nice because Alex's Mustang literally just exploded its gearbox the other day. So that car only has second and fourth gear. The rest of them are shot. And so we're just waiting on the DMV so that you can daily this beauty. We also threw on some M bumpers. So that's an M3 rear bumper. We put that on the other day. And he got himself an M3 front bumper. Needs paint work, but this whole car kind of needs paint work. So. so that's all for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be dropping a full coilover install DIY series. So watch out for that. Um, we're going to go over installing the coilovers, setting the ride height, and adjusting the damping. I know some of you guys have been asking for a coilover install for a while, and at this point, that's on coils, that's on coils, that's on coils, that's on coils, and Danny's M3 is on coils, so we've, this is our fifth set of VC coilovers going on, so. I like to do DIYs on stuff that I'm familiar with and I know how to set up, kind of like first jobs I don't really do DIYs for because I'm still trying to figure out like the tips and tricks, but. We got coilover installs down now. So that DIY is coming tomorrow. It will be excellent. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I'll see you guys later.